ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಗುಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ನೂನ್ ಗುಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವೇರ್ ಅವರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಜರ್ನಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕವರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ಮೇಧ ಟುಡೆ ಇಸ್ ಹಯಗ್ರೀವ ಜಯಂತಿ ಹಯಗ್ರೀವ ದಟ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಸೇಸ್ ಆಧಾರಂ ಸರ್ವ ವಿದ್ಯಾನ ಹಯಗ್ರೀವ ಉಪಾಸ್ಮಹೆ ದ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಹಯಗ್ರೀವ ದ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ದ ಮೇಧ ಮೇಧ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ದ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ಸಸ್ಟೈನ್ಡ್ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ಒನ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೇಧ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸ್ವರಾಜ್ಯೇ ಪೂಜ್ಯತೆ ರಾಜ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಪೂಜ್ಯತೆ ಎ ವೆಲ್ತಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆರ್ ಅ ಕಿಂಗ್ is respected only in his territory or closed uh, so close circle but whereas a person with illumined mind is respected everywhere that person is respected everywhere medha medha has uh, two letters me and dha me me ma me ma means mind mind man man dha dha means dharana what sustains the mind what nourishes the mind what uplifts the mind what prevents not prevents mind not collapsing it is called as medha always elevated mind thinking lofty never goes into depression always positive what sustains is called as medha medha is one of the seven building blocks in the body like uh, it goes from the outer part to inside twak charma mamsa mamsa is uh, flesh uh, rakta blood asti uh, bone uh, and majja marrows and the inside what nourishes all the outer parts of the body not only our nourishes the outer part of the body what illumines the mind is called as medha medha and to activate that one i gave uh, the, um, the tips one is uh, get up before sunrise and the second one uh, gayatri mantra japa and the food plays a important role food plays a very do- dominant role in chandogya upanishad it talks about uh, the the food is uh, plays an important role for a healthy mind in uh, english there is a saying you are what you eat and uh, jaisa in uh, hindi it is there jaisa an aisa man the type of food you eat the type of thinking you have the gross part of the food what we eat comes out as a stool gets uh, undigested in, uh, it comes out mid part of the food we eat it goes into the flesh the food is not the we are not just putting throwing something into the mouth it has a energy the fine part goes into the mind it goes also along with the according to the drink also what type of drink and um, we drink in hindi there is a saying jaisa pani aisa bani you the type of drink you have you talk accordingly your quality of your speech according to the drink you take and uh, the gross part of the drink comes out as uh, urine mid part of the drink goes into the blood stream and the fine part of the f- uh, drink goes into the breath that is why the police do the the breath testing uh, whether you had drunk excess or bl- breath test if it is inconclusive they take the blood sample to check the alcohol content in the blood the Ch- chandogya uh, upanishad further says uh, last week i touched upon uh, uh, ahara shuddho sattva shuddhi sattva shuddho dhruva smriti smritir labdva sarva granthanam vipra moksha the the purity of the food so, uh, ahara shuddhi the pure food is required and ahara shuddho sattva shuddhi it helps in clarifying the mind cluttered mind and a confused mind to overcome that one you need pure food 
ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಹಾರ ಸತ್ವ ಶುದ್ಧವು ಧ್ರುವ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ವೆನ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಟರ್ಡ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಾನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಶಾರ್ಪ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವೀಕ್ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ಐ ಕಾಂಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಸೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ when that um, uh, uh, the uh, the uh, memory is good all the obstacles gets removed you take a right decision and it will liberate you and food part when you are eating eating and you have to pay respect the pure food means uh, 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 you in supermarket if i pay extra money i will get a high quality food uh instead of a dollar a kilo if i pay 5 kilo dollar a kilo i will get a pure food that is one from the matter side what scriptures talks about how the purity is increased one the purity and this is a, this time it's a work people uh, put on the shoes and uh, uh, they start eating when you are eating at home remove your shoes pay respect wash your hands and when you are you sit down sit down to eat you are not just uh, throwing something you have to sit down to pay respect for the food what you are eating and pay, pay respect and and uh, pray to the provider provider of the who is providing the food thank them thank them millions of people across the world are going hungry you are fortunate enough to get the food in front of you you have to be thankful and uh, when you are uh, you are uh, uh, eating you are uh, um, the uh, uh, this uh, mantra also prananam grantirasi rudro ma vishantakaha the food whatever i am eating may this food enter into me as a health giver as a nourisher and not this food should not enter into me as a uh, disease or as a death this food should not enter into me as a cause of cause for disease or death this food whatever i am eating it should enter into me as a healer as a nourisher you have to the with that concept you are eating you have to chew the food well and chew such a way that it gets uh, saliva is produced it mixes so that it enhances the digestion you are not gulping chew the food you have t- ideally you have 32 teeth a uh, th- 32 teeth it says uh, you have to chew the food such a way that it becomes a liquid liquid and you uh, eat the drink and uh, uh, eat the drink eat the drink means you are not gulping in one go sip by sip 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 by sip you are drinking and drink the food and you drink, uh, chew such a that liqui- liquefied food goes into the fo- body then when you are eating it is not only for uh, pleasing the tongue the tongue the food what you are eating it is not pleasing the tongue and rather you are eating to nourish the body the pleasing the tongue we eat so many things it is an invitation for the disease and decay people say i don't mind i die 5 years early i want to please my tongue it is not you are not eating to please the tongue as a healer and when you are eating it is a yajna yajna there is a fire pit in the stomach stomach region is a fire pit and the food what you are eating it is an offering into the fire it is a havan it is a yajna you are doing there is a fire here and you are putting this one as a oblation what shri krishna in the bhagavad gita talks about when you are eating say this mantra brahma arpanam brahma ave brahma agno brahma nahutam brahmaiva tena gantavyam brahma karma samadina what this eating process even in the eating this is an offering to the lord the fire ceremony 
I am doing this one, whatever food I am offering, it is an havis, it is an offering into that one. And this, and so that Brahmarpanam, this arpana, it is to offer to the Lord. I am eating as an offering to the Lord. A havis is a part, it is a part of offering to the Lord. Brahmaiva tena gantavyam. And this, whatever offered, it is. Uh, an offering to the Lord and so that the Lord in me gets uh, uh, pleased with my uh, yajna, my, my yajna, Brahmaiva Tena Ganta, Brahma Karma. This offering, it is also, it is called as Brahma Karma, great karma. Karma, Karma Yoga, I need not have to do many elaborate things. Even small act like I am eating, it is called as a Brahma Karma. It is a great Offering to the Lord, which pleases the Lord. Brahma Karma Samadhina. And the food, the what we eat, it determines the mind. What type of the food it, it affects the mind. In Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna says, Katvamla Lavana Ati Ushna Tikshna Ruksha Vida Yinaha Ahara Rajasa Sesta Dukkha Shoka Maya Pradaha. If the food I am eating katu, very, the, uh, it's a uh, amla, very bitter or um, uh, the very sour, uh, very sour, very spice, extremely temperature hot or um, very salty and uh, very chilly, uh, very spicy food. Katwa amla lavana ati ushna, tikshna, very sh uh, the uh, pungent smell, very sharp smell and that one, that type of food, if I am eating, if I am drawn towards that one, it results in Dukkha, Shoka, uh, uh, Maya Prada. Dukkha means it creates a sorrow. Sorrow, not satisfied, mind becomes very restless. Mind like a garlic, garlic and onion, maybe physiologically it is good, but the scripture says that garlic and onion uh, dulls the memory, memory becomes weakened, garlic and onion. And uh, dukkha, the loss of memory, shoka, dukkha and uh, shoka, grief, and maya, maya means so many diseases come out of that one. And that my, when my thinking gets uh, uh, skewed, my, I don't know what I am doing in my life. And that uh, why a person falls down in life, continuing on last week I talked about making of a leader. And Dhyayato Vishayan Pumsaha Sangasteshu Pajayate Sanga Sanjayate Kamaha Kamat Krodho Bhijayate Krodhat Bhavati Sanmoha Sanmoha Smriti Vibramaha Smriti Bramshat Buddhinasho Buddhinasha Vinashyati Why person falls down in one's life? Because of this type of food, my thinking, whatever I am thinking, when my food has affected my mind, when I am thinking, I am thinking wrong and thinking on that one, I start getting a wrong end of the stick. When I get the wrong end of the stick and Dhyayato Vishayat Pamsa, I start getting attached to that one. I start, I start thinking of something and I want that one. I want that one. At any cost, I want that one. And when I get that one, I want more. I wanted, I want one million dollar in my, this one. When I get that one, I want one more. One more million. I want more. My greed, desire gets converted into greed. And greed is a result of anger. My arrogance goes up. When I start getting, who are you to question me? My arrogance goes up. If anyone questions my anger, anger comes. Anger from the desire, my arrogance goes up. Anger. Anger from there. Anger. Krodad Bhavati Sanmoha. I started my mind. Thinking gets get clouded. 
and sanmoha sanmoha smriti vibrama and my the uh, uh, this uh, clouded mind i my memory is lost i don't know what i am talking i don't know what i am doing puffed up with arrogance and anger i don't know what i am doing and when the, uh, the mind has lost i do things such a way that ai rigre krodad bhavati sanmoha smriti vibramaha smriti bhramshad buddhi nasho and when the memory is lost my intellect is lost i can't differentiate what is good and bad it results is buddhi nashat vinashyati that person falls down a leader is the one many people the promising leaders are there but as they start off after certain time they go down in their life they can't maintain that that one why because of this one food plays a very dominant role there are so many managers uh, around but hardly any leader leader the leadership that to have a, a leader leader need to have a sharp mind and lifestyle should be very good what eat one eats what uh, one uh, drinks the social circle all make up a leader they it uh, may, may, may makes up to become a good leader and uh, the uh, many people when they get uh, puffed up they even hide behind the religion saying that uh, we have a, a religious sanction to do whatever we want and in the past many atrocities had committed what we see in the scriptures like ravana or duryodhana or whatever and in the current situation we are seeing in afghanistan and other places in the name of religion they hide behind the religion saying that we have religious sanction to do the atrocities the leader is the one one who has purified oneself with that one can illumine the community we have to resort to that type of leader L- that type of leader who can illumine enlighten the community enlighten the generations to come the medha medha is a key to success in our personal life in a social life and as a world to uplift the world we need a leader with an illumined mind yoga has a solution let us take shelter in yoga yogam sharanam gachami let us take shelter in yoga to uplift ourselves and add value to the whole world lie down on your back